kids, big kids, big kids, little kids, comic books and toys for all the girls and boys. Hey, what's going on everybody? Adam and McKenna and Kaola here. Hi. And today we are going to draw Leonardo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, so let's just get right into it and have some fun. Uh, we're going to start with a curved line at the top. There you go. We're going to connect those two lines. And right now we're drawing the head and what will be the mask. And then we're going to kind of like flare those two lines on the side out just a little bit and then we're going to connect those and then we're going to do an oval that, that comes out a little bit this is going to be the lower part and the mouth it's big yeah it's, it's bigger than the, the top part mm. <laughs> We're going to draw a big old smile on Leonardo, so we're going to draw one curved line. And then another. I'm going to give him some dimples there. Then we're going to draw two almond shapes for the eyes. There's one. Two. Good job. I'm going to give him some eyeballs. And then we're going to do um, the ties in the back, which are just two curved, almost like leaf shapes that come out. And then uh, I'll do another one. And I'm going to draw some lines in there just to show the wrinkles. I can draw the line here. Ah, oh, you drew it too small. That's okay. Or not too small, but you that's fine. Thin. It's just a learning process. We're just going to have fun with it. So the neck is going to be two lines that kind of curve down like that. And then we'll connect those. Almost like a U-shape. Okay, then we're, gonna, we're going to um, draw some straps on him. So... Pay attention to where I draw. I start at the neck, the top of the neck here, and I just go like that. Not too far though, because we don't want it to make them too wide. And then I'm going to draw another one underneath that. And then another one underneath that. And I'm trying to keep them basically the same, the same shape. Now we're going to draw his first shoulder and it's going to kind of curve out kind of like that. And then another one from this side. Now we're going to draw part of his shell. So um, right down here would be the middle. So we're going to draw one little line right here. And that part of the shell is going to come out like that. And then come down most of the way. And then come across. A little complicated. Now we're going to connect the lines over there. Or right in the center there. Or if you, if you have any space. And then we're going to bring this shape down here. Like that. Not all the way to the shoulder, it would be kind of like right, right, right there and then down. This is basically his chest. And then we're going to draw a line down here. Not too far. And then kind of right there where the straps are overlapping. And then we'll kind of like curve those straps in so they're, they're going around him. Now we're going to draw another slightly curved shape that goes across. Oh man. Now you're getting a little, you gotta, you should with one hand you should hold your paper right here if it's, if it's moving on you. 
There you go. No, but look at this. That's okay. It's looking awesome. It, it, it'll work out. And then I'm going to draw another line in the center here for that part of the shell. So you kind of already have it. So you're going to draw two lines here for the belt like that. Well, you don't want to go too far. There you go. And then the belt's going to go across and connect kind of like that. There you go. And then in the middle of the belt, we're going to draw a circle. And you're going to have an eye. Well, he's going to have an L for Leonardo. There you go. Good job. Now we're going to draw another line in the center right there. Not too long. And then we're going to do two curves. So this curve is going to go in from left to right. And this one's going to go from right to left. Okay. Now we're gonna draw. We're gonna do the legs. So we're gonna do the top of the legs. He's like oh, fun. He just bumped me. That's all right. So we're gonna do one line and two lines there. No, no. So this is gonna be one leg right here. So one leg and yep. And then on the other side, we're gonna do the same thing where they flare out. Looks like the left. <laughs> well, you probably made him a little too wide right here. Now we're going to draw some knee pads, so we're going to do a curve line here and a curve line there. And then we're going to bring that to an oval shape around, like that. Those are the knees. And then the bottom part of the legs come out a little bit like that. Looks like it's coming out of the page. Well, yours looks like he's kicking, which is really cool. It's like you're, he's, he's got uh, that one leg is coming forward and kicking at us. So now we're going to draw some, to some toes. And we're going to do one. Almost like a U shaped here. And then two. And three. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Usually the, the inner toe is like the big toe, so that's one, that one's a little bit bigger. And then they get a little smaller as they go to the outer part of the leg. Yeah. Kayla loves to whistle. And then we're going to do a curve line that goes up. On both sides? On both sides. And then underneath here, underneath the knee pad, we're going to leave some space for the leg. But we're going to draw another line underneath. See, these are the knee pads. And then a line under there. And a line under there. What's that supposed to be? Those are the, like the wrappings that they have around their legs and part of their feet. They have them around their uh, forearms as well as part of their legs. So just to give you an idea, like what we're going to leave the bottom underneath the knee pad green when we color it, I'm going to do some little details here. So um, we know that this is the bandaged part, or the, the wrapped part. Kind of gives them a little bit of protection. It just looks cool. People always draw ninjas with these, these wrappings. I'm not sure what they're actually called. I know like boxers wrap their hands underneath their gloves when they box, but I'm not sure why a, why a ninja would wrap their legs up like this. <laughs> I, would, <laughs> I would think that it'd be kind of hot when you're when you're fighting. You always kind of look like um, on the head, um, and then, not really Leo. Well, it is. We're going to color him Leo. So then uh, no, we're going to give him swords so we'll know it's Leo. He doesn't. So for the knee pads, I'm going to draw a couple lines here and a couple lines like that. Just to give it a little, little bit of detail. Your one so looks we already have the, we already have the. What, what's that? Your one looks like the purple one. Because <laughs> he's smiling so much. He looks a little happy for Leo. Leo's usually pretty serious, I guess. But I wanted to draw a smile. So we already have the shoulders up here. 
we're going to draw a curve here for the biceps and then the forearm <laughs> and then we're going to bring the thumb this is going to be part of the hand it's going to curve around and down like that and then we're going to draw three big fingers here one two three and then the palm of the hand is like, kind of like right here it's a little curve and this other part of the forearm there <laughs> and then it's tricky learning anatomy is tricky I'm gonna draw a little elbow right there and then I'm gonna connect underneath and I'm actually gonna put an elbow pad on him here and then kind of connect it like that I'm a guy to show it and then he has arm wrappings too, so almost like gloves. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to add these little lines for details. Finger straps. I'm going to cut him now. Great job, Kayola. Great job, McKenna. I'm loving it. Okay. I see yours. Well, just just wait till he wait till his arm's done. He can move his arm. It's looking Your great. Your one looks small. All right, so now we're gonna, do, small, we're gonna do we're gonna do we're gonna do we're gonna do over here. We're gonna do another curve. That bicep, and then the forearm's gonna come out like that. We're gonna draw our thumb. Kind of running out of space here. And then one one curve, two curves. Three curves for the finger. Yep. I apologize if uh, if you missed a second. It looked like our camera stopped for a second there. Um, so now I'm drawing I'm Peggy. underneath this forearm here, a little elbow, and then this is gonna come up and connect there. I'm gonna draw the elbow pad once again. <laughs> And the arm wrappings. They're mostly blue and green. I'm going to draw little details in the biceps here. I think I ran out of space for the arm. <laughs> That's okay. We're uh, still. Yeah, the old one looks like. It's just about learning and having fun. And it's okay to make mistakes. Oh, yeah. So I just drew some lines here for little details. I'm also going to do the same thing with the belt where I do a little feathering on the sides here. Kind of like that. I'm going to draw a little pointy tail underneath. Now behind him is the shell. So I'm going to go on either side. I'm going to draw a curve line. And the other side. And then up on top as well. Yep. And then the shell has like a little bit of texture that goes around these lines. I already did the other side. If you want, you could draw some shadow underneath his neck there. So. Now, we're going to do this. We're going to draw two oval shapes on either side um, at the top of his hand like this. Watch what I do. Kind of like a, a C shape. It's, we don't want to close it though. Okay, because then we're going to... It's gonna, like Pac-Man. A little bit. We're going to bring... Uh, we're going to create these short sword shapes so they'll straight line up and then uh, a diagonal line. And then bring that down. And then a curve. And then if you have any more space, you can connect it. That way it looks like the sword is coming out of the middle of that um, Although, part. That kind of looks like the wrong way. Like the blade part. Oh, there. yeah, I guess I did. But that's okay. He's holding it backwards. Maybe he just caught it from flipping it around. And then I'm going to draw some shapes like that. He's a ninja. He can hold it any way he wants. 
You could do it the other way if you want, where it comes down. There we go. Cool. Yeah, you and Kale did it right, and I did it wrong. <laughs> Good job. All right, so we're going to do the same thing on the other side, where we draw that curve shape, but we don't connect it all the way. I'm going to draw a straight line up. Or it could even be curved, because the katana blades curve a little bit. And the diagonal down. Sometimes people draw these little lines in the center of the sword. And then um, there are buckles on the straps that go across his chest. And maybe some toenails on his toes. Sign mine here. And there we have our Ninja Turtle, Leonardo. <laughs> Why'd you sign on his face? You're funny. <laughs> You're supposed to sign at the bottom. Here, let, let people see your drawing. They're just seeing the back of your head and your neck. Mm -hmm. Look at that awesome drawing. That's a great Leo. It looks like he's jumping out at us. That's really cool. I love all the details you did. Really nice work. He is. Yeah. All right, so shall we color them up? Yeah. All right. So we're going to do some coloring now, and uh, we hope that you will continue to uh, um, check out the rest of the video. Fast forward or color with us while we're coloring. We're going to speed it up a little bit, and we'll be right back. out there if, if you folks watched the Ninja Turtles if you're fans let us know who your favorite nin Ninja Turtle is uh, mine is definitely uh, Leonardo and probably Mikey um, especially from the last version of the cartoon series there's been a lot of a lot of I different Jimbo. you like Usagi Ujimbo there's a lot of different uh, versions of Ninja Turtles I know there's a new one out there we haven't really watched it <laughs> Kale is showing off his drawing Came out really nice. I kind of like yours. Hey, it's, they can see it much better if you just hold it still because otherwise it gets out of focus. Um, anyways, so thank you for drawing with us. We really appreciate it. Um, we hope that's okay. It, it looks great. These, these are awesome. Uh, I really love them. Uh, thank you to everybody out there drawing with us. We really appreciate your support. We hope that you subscribe, like all the videos, share with your friends. Definitely tag us if you post up any of your drawings. We want to see what you're drawing. Um, send us some recommendations. If there's anything you want to see us draw, let us know. And uh, we will uh, be sure to draw something for you. All right. Thank you very much. And uh, peace and love. Bye. Peace and love.